This is Meteorologist Nathan Gidley here with a preview for Sunday forecast. So we are tracking the opportunity for some strong to severe storms later in the day Sunday. Best window is going to be from 3 p.m. until 10 p.m. Biggest concerns here are for some damaging wind gusts and some large hail. We still have lower threats though for flooding and isolated tornadoes. Now as you wake up early Sunday morning, there are going to be some scattered showers and storms around from a decaying line working its way into the area. Temperature is going to range from the mid to upper 60s to around the 70 degree mark in our southern communities. Now we're not expecting severe storms from this morning round working its way through and we're going to see plenty of clouds across the area behind this round of shower and storm activity. Into the afternoon though, watching to see when we get some clearing around midday and into the afternoon. As a result, this will really destabilize the atmosphere and provide more fuel for scattered strong to severe storms as we get to the late afternoon into the evening hours. You can see how intense Futurecast is depicting these storms to be as we begin to the evening, working its way west to east through the area along a cold front. Now, by the time we get to later Sunday evening into Sunday night, still some additional periods of scattered showers and storms, but severe weather will be a thing of the past here. Temperatures take a dip down into the 60s, then we track some additional showers and storms into the day on Monday. It's going to be a cooler and breezy day as well. On the 10-day forecast, once we get past this severe weather chance, we deal with those showers and storms Monday in the cooler temperatures. 71, then only the high on Tuesday, with a slight chance for a rain shower still then. Upper 70s then Wednesday, then mid 80s on Thursday. Still in the 80s then through the rest of the 10 day forecast. So next best chance for shower and storm activity on Saturday. Make sure you stay tuned though for the latest updates from the Live Doppler 15 Fury Storm Team regarding the severe weather potential Sunday afternoon and evening.